All right, we have some breaking news because we are following Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announcing, uh, we are learning, he is going to announce his 2024 presidential campaign with Elon Musk. And we have Jessica Dean, who is on the line to tell us what she is learning about this. Jess, what can you tell us? Hi, guys. Good afternoon. Well, we're getting news that's been, of course, anticipated for many, many months now, but now it's official. A spokesperson for Governor Ron DeSantis' political team confirming to me that he will announce his 2024 presidential campaign tomorrow night in a conversation with the owner of Twitter, Brianna, as you mentioned, Elon Musk. Uh, we are told that this will take place on Twitter spaces. The site's users can participate in audio conversations. It's going to be moderated by entrepreneur David Sachs. But again, uh, the big news here is that we are finally getting confirmation from Governor DeSantis' team itself. So much talk about this, you all know, for months and months and months now. He is set to make this official in a conversation with the owner of Twitter, Elon Musk, tomorrow night. And then from there, of course, launch fully into uh, a presidential primary campaign against a number of Republican rivals, chief among them, the former president, Donald Trump. Guys. Jessica, a small percentage of the U.S. population actually is active on Twitter. Has the campaign explained why this particular forum for DeSantis's presidential announcement? We haven't gotten any exact details on to why, as to why they chose this. It is unique, Jim. You make a great point in terms of it's a very specific choice. Uh, I do think that it is worth remembering that Governor DeSantis and his team really look at this as doing things their own way. That's very important to them, uh, that they are, are kind of doing things in a way that makes sense for their candidate, Governor DeSantis, and that makes sense for his team. And, and certainly this is a decision they felt like was in line uh, with what they are trying to achieve here. And Jessica, we understand from our reporting that DeSantis was scheduled to have a big event in Miami later this week, uh, getting together uh, supporters and bundlers, essentially folks that are going to donate a lot of money to his presidential campaign. Do we have more details on this event that Governor DeSantis is planning? Right. So I'm actually in Miami right now as we speak, getting ready uh, to cover that event as well. And Look, the campaign or the once in future campaign that will be launched tomorrow, but his political operation and the people supporting him want to come out with a bang. They really want to make an impression with fundraising numbers, with donor, with the big name donors and, and, and big totals right out of the gate to really make a big impression. And that's what this is all about. It's about getting all of these people in one space, getting them all aligned and making sure that they are able to then begin reaching out to their vast network of donors to really get those political numbers up. Again, you really only get one shot at getting into the presidential campaign, and they want to make the most of this. Uh, you can see that this is uh, really what they've orchestrated in order they hope to put him as in strong a position as possible, because he is getting in later than the rivals, of course, who have already gotten into the race. Jessica Dean, please stand by as we await more reporting and more details about this breaking news that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is planning to announce a 2024 presidential campaign tomorrow night in a conversation on Twitter spaces with billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk. We have David Chalian with us now, uh, CNN's uh, chief political mind. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this, that. <laughs> this is a, a bit of a surprise, isn't it? I, I spoke to a Republican just moments ago who texted me that this move, he supports Ron DeSantis, he, he says that this, moves, uh, this move captures the zeitgeist of the right. What do you make of that? Well, remember, uh, Tucker Carlson just uh, left Fox News and said Twitter is the only space in America that allows for a free speech kind of conversation. Uh, so Ron DeSantis, as we've seen time and again in the last several months, is in the buildup to this presidential campaign, is making a hard play uh, for that uh, activist, conservative, right-wing base, Fox News watching, Tucker loving kind of a thing. This is part of that. It's also going to a platform that is not lost on any of us that was dominated by Donald Trump in American politics for the last many years. And clearly, he wants to make a statement with that as well. We had heard from Elon Musk last year that he was supportive of a DeSantis candidacy. So this fits in with a budding relationship uh, between uh, these two gentlemen. Uh, but this is going to be a multi-day kind of rollout. So this is one bite at the apple right. to make it official. Then he's gonna have all his donors in place in Miami, start dialing for dollars, get coverage of that. Then following Memorial Day, he may give um, more of a traditional hometown kind of speech in Florida, and then may head out into early state travel for the first time as a presidential candidate, all of which 
will get serious coverage because in the polling, of course, he has proven to be the most serious contender to Donald Trump for the nomination, though still well, a far way back from Donald devil's Trump. Devil's advocate for a moment here. Yeah. Twitter is, is a big space for a certain portion, but not a giant portion of the population. Right, and, and from a news perspective, you cover the announcement. You don't cover six chapters or acts to the announcement, right? I mean, is it, is it one that has the broadest reach for a presidential candidate in, in this day and age? Well, again, he's going to get coverage, I think, at each stage of this, whether or not it's like roadblock live coverage on national cable television or more local coverage as he does those stops. Presidential candidates want all different kinds of earned media coverage through the news media. Uh, and I would imagine uh, that if indeed, after this conversation on Twitter, he were to give a big formal announcement speech, that will get a lot of coverage too, uh, Jim. So I do think you are right to note, this is not, this play is not to be the widest reach possible. This play to talk to Elon Musk on Twitter and make it official there is to show allegiance to a swath of the electorate uh, that that believes a, a, after Tucker's departure from Fox that what has happened with Elon Musk inside of Twitter that this is a place for free speech and will rally around that. Whatever he does is going to get picked up and put out on other outlets. So he'll see that sort of broad reach even if uh, on Twitter it's it is very narrow as Jim points out. What's his pitch going to be for that more broad appeal? Well, I think he's made. Uh, sort of a preview of to the, to the pitch uh, for the last several months, which is this Florida blueprint, this ability to not, as he likes to say, not just be a talker, but be a doer, to enact. He has a supermajority in the Florida legislature, and he's used the last many months mm -hmm. to piece by piece enact a conservative agenda that he can take out onto the campaign trail and try to sell to the Republican primary electorate first. Remember, this is a two-step process. Mm -hmm. Ron DeSantis is looking to win the Republican nomination first, and then on to, uh, he hopes, a general True. election. But, but, but voters remember things that happened a few months ago, right? And for instance, if you look at the abortion ban in Florida, that, that is a position that even Republicans have noted to me is one that makes it difficult or, or will cause problems in a general election campaign, given that it's more severe than, than in other places. So th that is a risk for, for him if he were to make it to, to that next day. No doubt about it. Yeah. And it, you want proof of that he believes it may be a risk politically mm -hmm. also. You'll recall he signed that six-week ban sort of at night, uh, very hurriedly, Not uh, didn't make a big splash about it. Uh, he does not tout it regularly. He does before certain audiences. And when Donald Trump said, like you're saying, Jim, recently, that some Republicans call that too harsh, he pushed back pretty aggressively on that in defense of it. So he doesn't shy away from it, but he is aware of the potential political risk there because he, he doesn't wear it on his sleeve like he does some of the other issues that he put forth. A frequent criticism of Ron DeSantis very early on in the campaign trail. Again, we're talking about him announcing tomorrow. He hasn't officially announced, but we've seen him in Iowa. We've seen him in New Hampshire. And the feedback is that he's not all that refined when it comes to retail politics, the one-on-one -on -one conversations. Could he potentially change that perception? How much does that matter going into this early primary stage? I've observed a lot of presidential candidates on the campaign trail get better at retail politics, even if they don't have an initial sort of uh, affinity for that. In fact, some of the reports from his second New Hampshire trip was a marked improvement from the first New Hampshire trip on this. So we'll see. Uh, this is part of, you know, members of Congress he served with when he was in the House did not think of him as somebody that was all that uh, collegial friendly. or friendly right. or, uh, you know, so... He, this is definitely something that I think observers and voters will be watching on the campaign trail, yeah. but I don't believe that's the kind of thing that can't be improved. I, I remember uh, a guy named Barack Obama who wasn't like all the greatest at retail politics initially, but he learned and, and got better throughout his time on the trail. He really did. He really <laughs> did. Uh, David Chalian, thank you so much. And to Jessica Dean as well for her quick reporting. Thank you so much.